I got a package in the mail. We're gonna see what's in this. Let's cut into this and see what's going on. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right, awesome. Now pick them up, I'm not rich. All right, so this package is from Dirty Water Collectibles. Let's see, Atog, hey, I'm sorry it took so long to send this to you. The mail you sent me was extremely thoughtful and fun. I wanted to send you something you'd enjoy. My pen is running out of ink, girl. Okay, I'm um, back. Recently, you've commented on my videos stating you haven't found certain coin varieties. Thank you for that. It gave me the opportunity to finally get something put together for you. All the coins are either a variety or an error. I also sent a B roll of 2022 Bs sent to me by M.O. Mohunt's, Mohunt Silver, um, which have all had double die reverses, um, which do not appear to be attributed yet. I hope you enjoy this. Thank you for all your support. Have fun. There are no answers. Dirty Water Coins uh, and Collectibles. So uh, I'll put a link for Dirty Water. And uh, if you haven't checked out his channel, I'll do so. He does have a lot of... Um, fun video so he sent me all kinds of stuff here you got a magnet um, he, he does uh, airs he does hunt for airs and varieties and stuff and he does a really good job of finding those there's a foil a little magnet there and then a few other different coins got a regular one a shiny foil one and one with some glitter on it cool Nice, thank you for the stickers and stuff. That is cool. Let's cut into this and see. Let's see what he sent. All right, if I can get stuff out. Oh wow, there's a stack of stuff there. And a roll of pennies. That's that's all. He said these were 2022's Phillies, and he said the reverses have some doubling on them. Um so I don't know if I'm gonna open that up right now and check it out or not, but uh we will see. We will see what we got there. Let's crack into these. Okay, we've got some 2019, 2021, 2022 here. Oh, I'm not, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at the coins. Um, so there's three nickels here. These would probably have some. Um, I wonder if there's. Let's see. I'll have to look at these and see what's going on with these. I'll do that here in a second. Let's see. So we have a 2018 and a 2020. This 2018's in really nice shape. Is that a double die obverse right there? Let's zoom in and see if we can catch it on camera. It does look thick. That's cool. I'm assuming this one is one as well. Yeah, that one looks really thick. You're looking in the God Retrust there. So this is probably DDO number one, and this one is probably DDO number one for that because there is a double die on that. So that's cool. Um, let's see. This looks like two of the either Kanaka Ole's. And if you see right here, let me get my handy dandy pointer. See if we can catch it in the light. There's a little line there. This looks like a die clash. This one has the line there as well. So you can see right here, and I'll probably take some pictures of these. So this, you can see the Edith there. A little bit more some die clash there but you can see the edith on the ear there i don't know if we can see it upside down here 
that's the H right there. Cool. Well, I'll take some pictures of those. And then, what do we got here? We have a Sally Ride. There's a bunch of different double dies you can find here. Um, so I will look for that. Let's see if there's. No, we got some a little bit of strike through right here. So maybe this is strike through coin, some grease strike through right there. Cool. And then we got a die chip here on the Ware Farms. And it looks like there's a die chip here on the elbow. I've never found any of the die chip on the elbow. I found some up here, but the ones I found did not have the die chip on the elbow. Cool. Now these here, I do come across these and I get a lot of the die chips in the horse's nose and some with die chip on here, but I've never found any of the ones with the die clash. And I'm wondering if that's what this is. And I'm going to have to pop up a picture of it because it's kind of hard to see here. I don't see it on the coin in hand. There's some tape here. All right, well, I will pull this one out of the tape and put that under the scope and see. 2019, there is some doubling on the um, date. And up here, you can see some doubling. Sometimes you see some doubling over here, depending on which one it is. Um, I have found a couple of different um, uh, varieties here, but uh, yeah, I don't know. That one might be number one. I don't know if I've ever found the number one, but I found a few different varieties. And we have a 2020 or 19. nineteen twenty out of Denver. Is that a 1920 out of Denver? I'll we'll have to take a look at that and see what's going on there. There's probably some doubling. Might be something else going on with that. Um, oh, no, there is a lamination here. I mean, it's under the tape, but you can see, ooh, that's a really cool lamination. That's cool. So that is those coins. That's what I see here. And I'll, I'll take some pictures and pop up some pictures of those. All right, so here's the first coin. Okay, so this is the 2019, and if you look right here, um, there is a little bit of doubling right there in the window. I'm not sure which one this is. This is, uh, there's over 71 here of on the 2019 on the reverses. A lot of them are very minor like this one is. And, um, looking up the minor stuff is very difficult to do. Um, so this one, uh, like I said, this could be number... 12 could be 38 could be um i think one of the there was one in the 50s that i looked at but that is definitely um some uh there's a lot of things to look at especially on the minor ones it's hard to see this is the 2021 nickel right here in the doorway there is a tiny bit of doubling right under the doorway i think this is number um turn it a little bit I don't know if you can see right there a little bit right there i think this one is number seven there's about 12 of these listed for this date so that is the 2021 and we're at 2022 here and let's see right here under this one has a die clash you can see right here there's a bit of jefferson's eye right there from the die clash um, so this is the 2022. It's cool. I have not come across the die clash on any of these yet. And uh, you can kind of see, if I get a little shadow there, you can kind of see the line there on his eyeball. There, there's a little line that goes across right in there. That is the bottom of the memorial, or the uh, Monticello building there. Um, so that is that one. Okay, next one is the... 2018 pictured rocks here. Let's see this one. You can see how thick and doubled that is in God We Trust. That is a very cool doubling. And this one's a very nice shape. Let's see. You can see it on the quarter there a little bit. 
on the D, the R, and, uh, and two, I think the A, you can see some here. So yeah, here on the top of the A, inside of the R there, the inside of R here, the inside of D there. And you can see it a little bit on Liberty. You can see the back side of the Y here is much thicker than this side. T is a little bit thicker on that side. Um, and I can make out some minor splitting there on the Serups. And then we've got the 2020 Salt River Bay here. This one is going to have some really thick doubling there on In God We Trust and in the P here. So that is cool. Next one we're going to look at, this is the Sally Ride. And you can see right there, there's a large struck through grease section there. That is pretty cool. Um, I found some of these time to time. Um, I think only one of a really nice, nice one. But uh, that one is pretty nice. This is one of the um, double dies. Or the uh, clash dies here. You can see right in there, there is some doubling. We put some shadow on it. It's kind of hard to get the, the to pop out really nice without having some shadow on some of the lights. See, there we go. You can see it really nice there. There's a few other spots you can see the clashing, but right here on the edge of the ear, you can see the H. There's the T there. There's the I. Um, there's the D. And some of these you can see either it's really clear but uh there we go that is the die clash there and there's a little bit of clashing right down here as well it's kind of hard to see right there um so we got two of these one of them is a little bit stronger than the other one like this is the stronger one here let me you can see how much stronger this one is there on the die clash um here and here is the Edith on this one. Yeah, this one, you know, H, T, I, D, and there's a little bit of the E there. So this one is a stronger one. That's cool. Let's spin it around and look at it upside down. So it is going to be backwards, but Edith, because of how the die clashing works, um, it does get backwards there. Next, we have the die chips here. We got a die chip on the arm here, kind of under the elbow here. And one up here in the uh, tree, the nook of the tree where the house is. That is the 2020 Wear Farms. Next up, we have the uh, this 2016 Teddy Roosevelt. Now, this you're seeing on the E Pluribus Unum here. It's stretched out. That's um, dye deterioration doubling or and or machine doubling there. That's what that is. Um, let's see. Right in here, looks like there might be some slight doubling, but otherwise uh, some slight of the die clash there. I put some shadow on it. You can see the contrast lines there. But I don't know if that's what this one is or not. Dirty Water, if you know what it is, let me know uh, what this one is you sent me. Um, because I'm not seeing the die clash on it, so I don't know what is going on here. I can't see any um, doubling anywhere, unless I'm missing it. Um, and I'm not seeing any die clash on the obverse. Which again, I might be missing it. Oh, here we go. If there is some die clashing right there, you see right in here, there is a little bit. This one is probably just some light die clashing, and that's why I'm having trouble seeing it. But that's probably what this one is. Um, that's the only die clashing I am seeing on here, and that's, yeah, that's all I'm seeing on this one. So, okay, next we're on the scents. 2019 um the nines are really thick on the 2019s so they're gonna look double no matter what but uh you can see this one looks like it's slightly off the two looks thicker the zero looks thicker and the inside kind of looks more um, of a pointed oval more like a cat's eye um 
looks like there might be some slight doubling in the U and S here. See some little notching at the top, and the S looks a little thicker and wider down here at the bottom. Uh, let's check out Liberty. I'm not really seeing anything going on with Liberty. And if I'm not looking at the right spot here, do let me know, Dirty Water. Definitely. That's what I'm seeing there. And this last one here is the uh, lamination. That is really cool. Uh, is the coins close up and broke down? Um, so hopefully that is uh, fun, interesting stuff to look at. All right, so that's the, all the coins broken down there as best I can. If I got anything wrong or if there's anything I missed, do let me know. I just kind of looked at them quickly. I didn't uh, go through it and study them. So yeah, thank you very much, Dirty Water. You really didn't need to send me anything, but I definitely appreciate it. This was pretty fun. Some really cool stuff here. I definitely appreciate that. So do go check out uh, Dirty Water and uh, Mohunt Silver, and I'll have links to those channels in uh, the description or linked up somewhere. They'll be linked somewhere, so do go check them out. Um, all right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, help me out, drop a comment down below, let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.